and we are live. Hello, everyone. Here we are today with you, your uh, Scopy Sessions team for August meeting 2019, which is going to happen in Taiwan already very, very soon. And we are the members of the Sessions team who are working hard for you since already May, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we have prepared this webinar for you to just briefly introduce to you what it's uh, expecting, uh, what you should expect when you come to the Scopy Sessions in Taiwan. So we are meaning that we are Andrei Lazar from FASMR Romania. Hi, Andrei. Hi. Uh, we also have Kanchana Bali from NMSS Nepal, who is also our regional assistant for Asia Pacific. Hi, Kanchana. Hi, Tanya. Hi, everybody. We also have Saker Rashid, who is the member of IFMSA Joe. Hi, Saker. Hi, everyone. And I'm also with you, Tanya Zebrova, your Scopy director from Russia. And we're ready to move on. Can you the next slide, please? Okay, thanks a lot. So briefly, what will you meet during this webinar? What uh, you're going, which information are you going to receive? Here we have the agenda for today. First of all, we will give you the brief introduction to the Scopy Sessions team so that you know those fighters who are working for you days and nights, literally, in order to prepare the best Scopy sessions ever. Then we will talk about general agenda and Scopy sessions agenda. Uh, we will briefly explain to you the uh, types of the sessions which uh, you will face during the August meeting. We will also uh, point out the most important events. We will explain um, how to pick the session, if they're parallel, and so on and so on. Then we will talk in particular about some special sessions like regional sessions, joint sessions, small, small working groups and open space discussions. Um, then we will mention some important things that you need to prepare before the August meeting 2019, what you should do, what you should, how you should prepare for the contract fair and what it is. And uh, then we'll briefly mention to you about the Scopier Survival Kit, which will be out very, very soon. Uh, the publications team is working hard on this. Then we also uh, will talk about the poster affair and contract affair, and you will hear some tips and tricks from us. Then you also may know that during the August meeting, we will be um, electing the new SCOPI director and also the new uh, liaison officer in medical education who is in charge of SCOPI and uh, in the external representations as well. And we will talk about this and how you will be able to contribute to this process, how much you should pay attention and when and where you will be able to ask questions to the candidates. And then we will just remind you what you should bring. Also during the webinar, we'll give you some additional information you will see in the appropriate part. So I hope that all of us are ready. Let's move on to the next slide. So here you see the Scopy Sessions team. These, oh my God, how many are we? We are 18 people. Can you imagine? Uh, I can't literally. So they're the 18 people working hard for you, preparing the sessions, preparing all the materials, all the information. And you can see the Scopy Sessions team in the left two columns. Um, so all the regional assistants, development assistants, general assistant, and our amazing Katerina, our legend of Stern medical education. And the right two columns are the elected, uh, the selected sessions team. Uh, we have Ahmed from, uh, from uh, I think say Iraq. We have Chaitra from uh, Students for Global Health UK. We have Diogo from NM Portugal. We have Gabriel from, uh, I think say Honduras. We have Irene from, uh, I oh my God, Colombia. We have Andre from Romania. We have um, Mariona from Catalonia and Saker from I think say Joe. Once again, so here are the people. If you see them during the August meeting and if you have any questions related to this, uh, to Scopy or Scopy sessions, feel free to approach us and ask us questions. And next slide, please. And I'm giving the word to Andre. Yes, thank you, Tanya. So here you can see the general agenda of the August meeting. Uh, I would like to highlight some uh, some of the stuff here. First, on the first day, you can see that we are starting with the standing committee sessions in the morning. 
Uh, and uh, in the night, I would like to highlight the IFMSA Fringe, which is actually the second edition of this amazing show that we are doing uh, once again in Taiwan. Uh, after that, I would like to highlight on day four the Contracts Fair that we will we'll also talk about it later. And uh, of course, the amazing Culture Night on day four uh, in the evening, which is uh, a tradition already for the uh, general uh, for the general assemblies of IFMSA. And uh, I would like now to move forward to the scope agenda and to give the word to Kanchana to explain everything. Okay, so uh, yeah, we'll talk about the team event. Um, the team event is called Science, Technology and Innovation for Sustainable Healthcare. Uh, this is the team event that our amazing OC proposed to us. Actually, we'll be divided in two team events. The first one will focus on artificial intelligence and how it's going to replace doctors or maybe even rule the world in the future. So if you are interested in how the inequity in medicine and education silences voices and basic human rights in remote areas, we encourage you to attend this amazing session. After that, there will be another team event, team event number two, that, uh, that focuses on technology and how it is associated with healthcare and uh, how technology is presented on the market right now. So if you are interested in technology, uh, we encourage you to attend this amazing team event number two. Okay, next slide, please. And of course, uh, we have again the IFMSA Global Priorities side event. We encourage you to uh, register for this when it will be available and it will be announced on the emails. Uh, this time we'll have two, two events for uh, SCOPY, the SURVIVE uh, UHC simulation, which is the Universal Health Coverage Simulation. Uh, if you attended the March meeting in Portoro, Slovenia, you might remember it from there. And also this time we'll have a global health interdisciplinary approach. As you know, global health is an important part of SCOPY and we want to focus on this part as well. But as you can see on the slides, you, we have uh, other IFMSA global priorities and we encourage you to attend uh, which one is most appealing to you. Next slide, please. Okay, I am now going to be taking over and I'm gonna give you all a brief overview of what the SCOPY sessions are going to be like. So this August meeting, we have all worked really hard to make sure that we have a bunch of different exciting events in the SCOPY sessions. And you can see the entire agenda in this slide. However, I will be going day-wise to give you a brief idea of what, what each session is going to be about. So let's start with day one. Day one, the day where everybody is excited, everybody is so enthusiastic to know more about SCOPY. Our first session is going to be introduction and team building. It's going to be from uh, 9 to 10 for an hour. And it is going to be mostly about getting to know each other and getting to know a little bit about Scopy, a little bit of an idea, getting to know a little bit about the Scopy sessions team, and getting to know a little bit of everything. Second, we have the question and answer to the Scopy IT session. This is going to be for half an hour. And for this, uh, we have an instruction. You are requested to kindly read the SCOPY IT reports. Generally, during the GA and for the SCOPY sessions, we are going to be sending you emails about all the documents that you may need to read before you come so that you can be prepared and you know what to expect from the sessions. And the question and answer to IT is one of those sessions. So if you want to read the SCOPY IT reports, here is the QR code. Please make sure you scan it. If you can right now, if you cannot, or if you have to download the QR app, I highly recommend you to do it here because during the GA, during the sessions, we will also be using it to disseminate a lot of information, a lot of documents with you. So 
if you cannot do it now, you can pause this webinar later and always take a, take a scan it and then look at the IT reports. So the first session is going to be for all, all the participants of Scopy. However, there are some sessions which are directed more towards those who've already been involved in Scopy for quite some time now and know a little bit more about it. But that doesn't mean that we're going to leave people who have recently shown their enthusiasm in Scopy behind. So we have some sessions for the beginners as well. So the first two sessions after the introduction and team building is directed towards the advanced participants, the first of which I've talked about. The second is the Scopy strategic plan. The previous Scopy strategic plan ranged from 2016 to 2019, and now we're in 2019, which means that we have to draft another one. So we're going to share, uh, share the annex with you then, and then we're also going to be asking for your inputs on the strategic plan then. Simultaneously, while these sessions are being conducted for the advanced participants, we're going to have a session for the beginners. So we have a session, Scopy 101, in which we're going to be discussing a lot of different things. Things such as how to get Scopy activated for people who are from animals which are, which are not Scopy active yet. We're going to be discussing how to communicate in Scopy. We're going to be giving you a list of all the documents that you can use to know more about Scopy and to get more involved in Scopy. So for this Scopy strategy plan, the draft of the uh, Scopy strategic plan annex is going to be shared. A little bit different from how sharing it Scaring has been there. Also known as open space discussion. It's going to be all about you. You facilitate the session, you share your stories, and we've recently sent the call for all the NEOs to fill in the here's the perfect opportunity too so this is the QR code again this is the qr code that directly leads to the form in which you can share the topics uh, which you want to propose for sharing something about your animal or if you want to if you want to facilitate the session so please remember that the call is still open and the deadline is on the 16th of july like 2019 that is three days from now so please make sure you apply if you haven't already Okay. okay, moving on to day two, together. It's gonna to start with small working groups. It's gonna be small working groups for all the participants, for one and a half school people, but also joint sessions, joint small working groups with committees like SCORI, but also Other standing committees such as SCORA, SCORP, and SCOF. The outcomes to the sm uh, small working groups will be discussed in other sessions at the end of the GA, and it will be goal directed. So please prepare yourselves that we're going to be having another set of parallel sessions. It's going to be the Scopy regulations changes discussion for the advanced participants and the exchanges problem solving for the beginner participants. Now, Scopy regulations changes this. Discussion requires a little bit of a mention here. We first, what I would like to mention is that we have a webinar today, right after this, to discuss more on the topic, Scopy Regulation Changes Proposals. And during this time, it is not the time that we will be voting on the regulations, but it is a time in which we will be discussing regulations. Now, all the regulations that are proposed, we may not be able to discuss it because we will not have time for it. So it is highly recommended. More on that later. Move to the next session, which is the exchanges problem solving. This is a session for the beginners. So after Scopy 101, when you're all said to have Scopy in your NMO and you know all about Scopy, you get to deal with problems related to Scopy. And for that, we have something called the Scopy regulations, which is going to be consulted every now and then. 
in, while problem solving in SCOPY. So it is recommended that if you can, you go through the SCOPY regulations because we're going to be mentioning it a couple of times here and there all the time in SCOPY sessions. After that, we have the poster fair, the much awaited fair of the August meeting 2019. It's going to be for one and a half hours later in the day on day two. So this is going to be the last chance to promote your animals before the contracts fair. It is for all the participants and they all get a chance to represent their animals and promote it one last time. A little bit more about the poster fair. A poster fair uh, requires you to bring an exchange poster which talks about the academic as well as the social aspects of your exchange. Remember, you get one poster for both Scopy and Scory in your animal. That is, your poster has to be exchanges representative. Also, do not forget to get a poster for your SCOF public health exchange. And we're trying to be as eco-friendly as possible. So digital posters are highly recommended. Now, we're supposed to get a poster, but how is it supposed to be like? What are the criteria that you need to meet? For that, we have another thing for you. We have the template for the poster fair. Now again, I have a QR code. I'm really fond of QR code, guys. So I have a QR code which you can scan in which you can find the template for the poster fair. Now, for, for some of you who are planning to get it printed, please make sure that your poster measurements are 120 centimeter into 90 centimeter. These are the maximum measurements that you can get the size for your poster. So these are the some these are some prerequisites for your poster fair. For more information, we'll have a detailed list of things that you can get for the uh, in the survival kit. So please make sure um, you go through it once uh, it is published, which is going to be really soon. Now, day three. Day three, a little bit knowledge about Scopy, a little bit more knowledge about regulations. After that, we come to day three, where in the morning, for an hour, we're going to be having the Scopy D and the LME candidate debate. This is going to be dealt with a little more later, but just to let you know that this is the time where you're going to see who may turn out to be the next leaders in Scopy. More on that later. Moving on, we have the informative sessions or the parallel sessions from 10 to 11, which is directed towards all the participants. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about these sessions. So these, okay, I forgot to mention, Please make sure you read the applicant's candidature, guys, which has already been released in social media. If you cannot find it, then you can. Uh, we can always send you the link to it. You can always ask any of us. A little bit more about the informative sessions. These are going to be on the internal development of SCOPY, such as initiatives and educational activities, the external development of SCOPY, recognition and stakeholders, and there are going to be two graduation trainings. The TNET, the recent TNET participants are going to be talking about scopy related things in the graduation trainings. So the topics for these graduation trainings are going to be mentioned in the August meeting itself. And we're also planning a session with an external, the topic of which shall be mentioned later too. Moving on, we have the regulation changes proposals voting for the advanced participants on day three. So the regulation changes proposals discussion that was done on the previous days and much in advance. Now, this, the participants, either the NEOs or somebody from the NMO who has been elected to be a part of the voting is going to vote on whether the regulation will pass. We have beginner sessions, which are going to be, uh, which is going to be a part of the graduation training by the recent teenage participants, graduates. So uh, be awaited for that. And after that, we have joint sessions in the evening for one and a half hour. Day four. Now, posters fair is, is done. This is the time, guys. This is the highlight of the August meeting, the contracts fair, in which you are going to have an opportunity to sign contracts. Uh, you're going to have the opportunity to, to sign contracts with different animals. And this is going to be talked about in detail later. After this, I would also like to mention 
about the global priorities events, which was mentioned earlier by Andrea. Two Scopy related events we've mentioned. It's going to be later in the evening and you can be a part of it. Finally, day five, graduation training. It's going to be the training which the senior graduates have to offer and everybody gets to be a part of it. They're we're going to be talking about different scopy related topics, which is going to be amazing to hear about. So please be awaited for that. The next thing is something exciting. It's the scopy cocktail. And I don't want to give too much away right now, but still waited to know more about it. The end, in the end of day five, the last day of the August meeting 2019, it's going to be about outcomes the AM means the Scopy D elect, the, the one who's going to be taking over, is going to be giving his or her speech. And our amazing director is also going to bid farewell to everybody. It is going to be a great moment. And ultimately, we come to the end of day five, and we're going to be done with the Scopy sessions for August meeting 2019. Now I'm going to hand over the presentation for the regional sessions. Okay, thank you, Kanchana. Now uh, I would like to speak more about the regional sessions. Uh, the Africa, America, and Europe regional sessions will take part, will take part during day three, and Asia Pacific and the EMR uh, regional sessions will take place during day one. So a little more details about the African regional sessions. Uh, they will start with a quick introduction. After that, moving forward with team building, exchanges 101. And in the end, uh, the, Africa, the African participants will talk some challenges in exchanges. Then moving forward to the Americas regional sessions. Here we will talk about team building, uh, America's exchanges recapitulation of the term. Also, uh, it will be a session uh, entitled Exchanges Rehab, where they will focus on some issues and work in SWGs uh, and find ways to improve it. And of course, they will talk about handover. As you know, the IFMSA term 2018-2019 is coming to an end, and so it is in many NMOs. And that's why they find it really important to talk about handovers and the session will end with feedback and uh, of course some pictures and goodbye uh, next slide please okay and in the asia pacific region uh they will talk about uh, the direction of Scopy and SCORI delegates to, um, and they will uh, introduce themselves, and uh, they have they will have the, an icebreaker, and they will focus mostly on how to develop exchanges, and of course in the end they will have an SWG time. Don't forget that the Asia Pacific uh, regional sessions will take place on day one as well as the EMR, uh, in which they will uh, have a team building event and will talk more about exchanges sustainability. And in the end, Europe, the last regional sessions we are talking about, uh, that, uh, can Shana please move to the next slide? Uh, in Europe regional sessions, they will talk about um, uh, in small working groups and they will uh, do the needs based assessment and after that they will debrief and have a presentation of the outcomes and we'll end the session with a feedback and of course a picture okay, okay. now moving forward yes Yes, thank you, Andre. I'll just want, uh, while Kanchana is switching the slide, I, I just want to take a second and, uh, to remind you guys that you can uh, ask us any questions in the chat on your right of the screen or uh, below the screen, if you're uh, de depending on which device you're uh, using. And yes, now I want to mention that uh, joint sessions, we will have three scopy related joint sessions during the August meeting, and there are 
the first one is joint with the SCOMI and is called Academic Competen Competencies in Exchanges. Uh, you may have noticed that we have opened the call for the small working group. The results of the election will be selection for the small working group participants will be shared very, very soon next week. And this um, session will be based on already some of the uh, work outcomes or at least working ideas of the small working group. Then we will have next session, which is uh, called how to campaign build a thematic week. And this is a big joint session, which will be open for all the participants from all the standing committees and recommended for all the standing committees. So if you have also noticed this year, we have tried more campaigns in Scopy. Well, the very first one was Exchanges Week, which was started three years ago. And then this year, well, this year we also did the, um, the uh, day of intercultural diversity and sensitivity. We also made the uh, campaign on the ethics related to ethics and exchanges and some others as well. And we have realized that it's not that easy to uh, organize a campaign and it might be useful for all the members of the NMOs uh, to know a little bit more on how to organize a, a campaign actually, wh where to start and uh, how to make it pretty and very informative. And the third session which we're proposing is a session um, organized by three standing committees, Scopy, Scory and SCORP, and it is called the Black Mirror Ethics and Exchanges. So you know that ethics is a topic that we talk a lot in exchanges. This time we're just going to bring it to you in a little bit different way. And we hope that you will enjoy the idea that we have on the session. It's going to be quite interesting, I hope, and very challenging for you as well. So please feel free to attend and mention this to your members as well. And then passing the word um, back to Andre, right? Yes. Good. Thank you very much, Tanya. Now we'll speak about contracts fair tips and tricks. But actually, before speaking about uh, the contracts fair effectively, uh, I would like to show you the poster that Kanchana was talking about uh, a few minutes earlier. Uh, yes, here you can see the, the poster, the draft of uh, the poster that, uh, if you, that if you want to take part in the poster fair, you need to edit it and complete it and bring it to the August meeting. And if you would like to have it on paper, please note the, the measurements that you need to have it for your poster that we presented it a bit earlier. Next slide, please. Just a second, Andre, can I also yes. mention something? Yeah, we also have a separate template for the public health exchanges, which also contains the SCOF logo. So in case your NMO does not do not only do does not only do SCOPI and SCORI, but also uh, but also SCOF um, in terms of public health exchanges, please use the separate one. Uh, only in case you already have the printed poster and you don't want to overuse um, paper and damage the environment, then we feel free to use the poster that you have used before. Also for press, you can uh, you can use, if you want to present your press, you can also use the same poster template, but make sure to consult with us. I'm done, sorry, you can move okay. on. Thank you very much, Tanya, for this. Okay, now uh, coming back to the contracts fair, you know, it, it's a really important moment in the August meeting, the contracts fair where we sign contracts for the next season. And for this, we need quite a bit of preparation. So we summed up uh, a bit of the preparations you need to do before the August meeting. First of all, you need to assess the, your capacity of LCs beforehand to know how many contracts you can sign for the next season and make sure that you not sign too many so you cannot uh, accommodate all your incomings. After that, we suggest you to make a list of all the NMOs you want to sign a contract with, but please consider popularity, diversity and the quality of exchanges uh, of the NMOs you are signing uh, contracts with. And also don't forget to check the exchange conditions of each NMO you are going to sign a contract. And if you haven't done it already, please send emails to your fellow NEOs and negotiate an agreement of number of contracts. It, it will be easier for you if you do it before the August meeting and not only at the August meeting. Next slide, please.
Okay, and uh, during the August meeting, uh, as a NEO, you have to attend the contract fair to sign the contract. Please don't forget to use only the official contracts form. And if you uh, sign unilateral contracts, don't forget that you cannot exceed more than 40% of the total number of incomings. And uh, if you would need an exception for, from this rule from the SCOPI regulations, please be sure that you send an official request signed and stamped by your animal president to the SCOPI director no later than 30th of July. And please note that you cannot sign contracts before the contracts fair in the August meeting uh, for the next season. Next slide, please. And uh, if you haven't attended yet a contracts fair, uh, please make sure that you will be well prepared. It's quite an intense experience. It will be for about two hours plus 30 minutes of preparations before. Uh, so here are our advices. As this year, the contracts fair will be in the morning after the National Food and Drink Party. Uh, think twice before enjoying too much the National Food and Drink Party so you can be fresh in the morning. Uh, make sure that you arrive a bit earlier, like 30 minutes before, in order to prepare your stand and the contracts. Um, also, only four people per NMO are allowed to enter the contract fair venue. This means there are two for Scopy and two for Scori. This will be in the beginning of the contract fair. And uh, make sure that you bring enough hard copies of contract forms and pre-fill what's possible, like country, NMO, and stamp them before. It will be a lot easier for you. And don't forget to bring your NEO stamp because each contract needs to be stamped. So if you will sign new contracts directly there, you need to stamp them. And uh, it will be really useful if you have a spreadsheet with useful information like how many contracts you want to sign with each NMO and you can track uh, which contracts you signed already and which NEOs you need to find. Next slide, please. And don't forget, uh, as uh, it is an official IFMSA event, to be as green as possible. Uh, if you can print the contract form on recycled paper or uh, print them in A5 paper size just to uh, reduce the amount of paper that you use, and also in gray scale, not in color and find unique ways, and by unique we mean green ways to decorate your stand, so bring less flyers, and instead of that you can bring flags, sweets, your animal mascot, and some cultural items as well. And use electronics as much as you can, like laptops, tablets, or other electronic devices, to display videos or pictures from your uh, beautiful exchanges that you organize, and wear a traditional costume, hat that make you unique and make it, it will make you easier to be uh, seen by other NEOs. And uh, come up with other ideas to make this contract fair as green as possible. Next slide, please. Okay, uh, right now I will talk about the SCOPI director and the liaison officer for medical education debate that will take place during day three. Uh, as Kanchana mentioned before, please make sure that you check the candidatures uh, there, which are already available. If you could not find them, please approach us or approach your animal president that will show you the, all the candidatures. And uh, I would like to highlight that the debate is a pivotal moment for us. So prepare your questions before talking uh, in your NMO hour and make sure that you attend this session. And after this session, uh, assist your NMO uh, president and uh, or the other members who will be voting during the GA in voting for the best candidate because you will influence the future of the standing committee and also the federation. Next slide. 
Okay. I think I'm going to take over from Andrea for a moment here. Thank you, Andrea. So, okay. So we're all going to Taiwan for the August meeting 2019, guys. And there's some things that we would like to make sure you remember to bring absolutely. I'm going to be a little repetitive here because it's important. Firstly, for promotion of your exchanges during the contracts fair, as Andrea mentioned earlier, I mentioned again, you can always promote your exchange by bringing your national hat, your national flag, some sweets, and wear your national costume as well. Now, for the posters fair, we recommend you that you get a poster, but we would even we would be happier if you brought your laptop along for showing videos or your, even your poster, a digital poster, as mentioned earlier, is highly recommended. Now for the promotional materials, please try to be as eco-friendly as possible. Now guys, the things that you're supposed to remember, if I tell you to bring and remember everything, how much are you going to remember, right? We go to class, we sit, our teacher tells us all these things that we need to remember, but we don't remember anything, absolutely anything. For this, the Scopy Sessions team has brought an exciting puzzle for you in the survival kit. The survival kit will make you have to search for all the things that you would have to remember to bring so that when you actually look at it, you actually find it in the puzzle and then you find it at home and then you bring it. So stay tuned for the survival kit, for the puzzle, and make sure that you remember to bring all the things that you deem important. Now I'd like to hand over the rest of the presentation to Sakar. Hello, everyone. I'll take over now and talk about the Pret Host poster. As everyone knows, in every GA, uh, all Scopy and Scory uh, active animals have the chance to present their their, their country uh, and their uh, amazing exchange program. So uh, in, this, uh, in this year, the poster fair will take place in the second day at 11.30. And don't be late, please. Uh, it, ha it has a great difference compared to other years, like as we did in the March meeting. Uh, actually, I didn't attend the March meeting, but they did that. Uh, in the March meeting, there will be a separate place where all Pret hosts will have the chance to promote the Pret, the, the Pret, that they are going to organize the following period of the interested participants. Here is a, uh, here is a poster, like uh, on the right, you can see. And... Uh, this is like simulation, so you can have an idea. Uh, please, next. If and regarding can... the... Yes. Okay, okay. If you... Yeah, you can go, or if you want, I can cover it. Should I go on? Okay. Thank you. So it's the Scooby Cocktail, um, a new session and a new name um, for you. Actually, it's not as new as you seem to imagine uh, because Scopy Cocktail is called this way because it's a cocktail of two sessions. We'll have a mix of Animal Exchanges Glory and uh, Neo Buddies Time. So how will it work? Also, it will, be con um, it will consist of two parts. The first part, which is going online, which is actually ongoing, and the second part, which will happen during... the day five of Scopy sessions. So the first online part, you may have already noticed that we have opened the call for the Animal Exchanges Glory participants. We have received some applications and tomorrow we are going to start the online campaign on Instagram actually. So get ready. You will need to go to the USMSA uh, Instagram page and vote for the best poster you want to see at the Scopy sessions. And then the five posters which would give, um, you know, which will get uh, the most amount of likes in Instagram will be presented during the Animal Exchanges Glory time. Then I mentioned that it will be a cocktail. So what is the cocktail about? So the presenters of the Animal Exchanges Glory presentations will have three to five minutes to present, uh, to present their achievements. And in the meantime, all the other participants will be divided into the Animal, ex uh, animal Buddies groups. So you all, all the news are the members of the new body groups. So you will be 
um, you will take specific parts in the room, you will listen attentively to the uh, Animal Exchanges Glory candidates, and then you will ask questions, you will vote, and you will brainstorm on which initiative can your body group take as an idea and implement in your uh, countries, in the countries of, the, of your body groups. So this is the whole big idea. We hope that it was um, understandable, but we will explain you more. So now focus on voting the best Animal Exchanges Glory candidate to present. Thank you. And Taker, uh, a word back to you. Thank you, Tanya. Okay. Now we're gonna talk about scope competitions, um, where it's like a pre-general assembly video. It's a one-minute video where uh, you should be so creative, so you'll get a trophy for the videos. And uh, those scope videos, like for the competition, competitions, should be sent for the scope RA for the EMR. Here's the email, so you can send it. Uh, the deadline for sending the video would be at the fourth of August, two thousand nineteen. Do not miss the deadline, guys. Uh, the new bodies groups photo, uh, which Tanya already mentioned, like before of the day challenge, all new bodies group competing with each other to make the photo of the day challenge. It would follow the table regarding the subjects for each day. We already mentioned that before. The winner will be announced uh, on day five and be ready for the new group body, new body group. Uh, the challenges we have, they are, they are on four days. Day one, we have a challenge for the best team building photo. Uh, on day two, uh, there will be a challenge for the best custom pictures. That's why you should not forget uh, bringing your custom from your country. Uh, day three, we'll have the challenge for the most creative picture during the, uh, having meals together. Wow, that's a mess. And day four, uh, most creative picture in the contract sphere. On day two, uh, you should attend the sessions with unique customs to be recognized. And there would be an extra point for the best picture in the opening ceremony. As, uh, as we also encourage you to learn how to say hello in six different languages. Uh, pretend to be a tourist in your own city so you can speak like to people only in a foreign language. Even if you, when you meet your friends, don't break the games act as a tourist and if a friend can join you during the am19 print their head in a real size or edit uh, using photoshop and put and shoot a photo story of this friend traveling with you one more thing to mention create a traveling bucket list for your time in taiwan and we're so keen that we will meet you guys in taiwan in less than one month thank you Thank you very much, Saker. And this actually finishes our first webinar for today. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Now, please, if you have any questions, once again, we're giving you one extra minute. You can write them down in the chat. And um, in, I want to take a moment to thank, first of all, everyone uh, who worked on this webinar. Thank you, guys. I wouldn't make, uh, it wasn't, wouldn't be possible without you. I hope that... Um, I hope that our members enjoyed the webinar. Please spread the webinar to your members. If you are the news and you have also some beginners, some videos attending together with you, make sure that they watch this webinar because it's important for them to at least have a grasp of what is waiting for them in Taiwan. And uh, we try to cover as much topics as possible. Uh, we also try to not go too much into details uh, in order to not take much of your time and right after this webinar we will start the second webinar on the regulation changes and um, that webinar will explain to you how important it is to have the um, voting rights why do we need the voting rights and uh, also um, yeah also we will tell you about all the regulation change proposals that we have gathered by this time. And um, then, uh, yeah, then we will explain to you the uh, rules of the voting. So please attend the next webinar as well, because it will be very, very important. It will be more informative than this one, maybe because it will be um, more 
experience than this one as well. And we have, uh huh. Okay, yeah, we have a question from FNC Brazil from Marie. Uh, can we please talk a little bit more about OP agenda at the time available for the contract fair? Um, uh, okay, so, um, okay, so uh, this Kopi agenda, Kanchana, could you please go to the summary of the Kopi sessions? The slide, yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. So yes, um, here is the Scopi agenda. Marie, I'm not sure what part exactly, is it just about the contract fair or, you do, or do you want to um, know something more about the Scopi agenda? But in the meantime, about the contract fair. So if you uh, pay attention, you will notice that the contract fair starts in the morning of day four at 9 a.m. and uh, it's, uh, it is actually the time which is in general agenda assigned to the walking tour. But unfortunately, it was the only option for us to organize the contracts fair because uh, in other time spots, it wasn't uh, possible from the logistics and other organizational parts and also time wise. So um, it means that Scopy and Scory people will start working earlier. And uh, we will open the doors for the contract fair preparations at nine. So you will have half an hour for preparing your contract fair space. And so how will the contract fair happen? If you're interested about this exactly, it will be almost the same as the poster fair or exchanges fair if you have attended the March meeting. If you haven't and if you're a newcomer, so uh, the whole looks like it, it is a big, big room with a lot of tables. Each animal have a table and the stand before uh, behind them with their usually with their poster. So usually one um, at least one Neo or Nori stands next to this table and the other Neo or Nori is uh, going around the room and trying to approach other Neos and Noris. And during this time, you actually have the um, possibility to sign contracts. So you approach the news and noise and the news and noise of other animals approach you. And since you know that you have already started the negotiation process with the other animals and how many contracts you want to sign, this is actually what will happen. This is the culmination of this negotiation. So during the contract fair itself, you will sign and stamp the papers. So each one of you will need to sign the copy of the contract, uh, or the same copy of the contract. Um, so there will be the contract formed from, the, from uh, let's say, NMO A and NMO B, and you exchange your contract form. They should be equal, and they should all, uh, both of them should contain signatures and stamps of both NEOs. Um, we have shared with you the contract form already before, and yeah. Um, okay, yeah. So in the general agenda, yes, once again, in the general agenda, the contract sphere is not mentioned explicitly. However, uh, that's why we are actually emphasizing this very much that in Scopi and Scori, we use the free time for the contract sphere. So we uh, got the permission uh, to use this time in order to have enough time for everyone to sign contracts. But I hope that was clear in case you have any other questions feel free to ask or feel free to approach us okay do we have any other questions now Okay, then I think that we can finish the webinar. And in like some five minutes, we will start the second webinar. 
uh, just we just need to set the technical moments and we will start the regulation change proposals webinar. Please join us there and hope to see you soon in Taiwan. And thank you, dears, for helping me with the webinar. Thank you, Andre, Zaker, and Kanchana. Thank you, everyone. See you soon.